So, you proudly proclaim yourself as an auto enthusiast, right? That's why you're watching this video. But let's dive deeper into that. Today, we'll be discussing the five different levels of auto enthusiasm. Now, you might say, Ricky, there's five different levels? Well, yes, there is. Car enthusiasm is multifaceted. So, today, we're gonna explore that. Brace yourself, let's get started. I'm your host, Ricky Skids. Level one. The basic enthusiast. This individual has a casual interest in cars and might like discussing that with friends and having it more as a conversation topic in their life. Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart, they're not getting. However, their allegiance to any particular brand is pretty much non-existent. They kind of like whatever's cool, whatever was trendy. They tend to gravitate towards the mainstream options like Hellcats and Mustangs and maybe the Supra or an R34 GTR. No shade to the GTR guys, but again, these people might gravitate more towards the mainstream options or what was popular in movies, right? Now, when it comes to modifying their cars, they're pretty generic about it. They may get generic aftermarket wheels from discount tire, and they're probably not gonna change the wheel size. They're probably gonna keep the original wheel size. And the most they'll do is maybe some aftermarket sound system, sub, and an amp. They may spray their tail lights to make them darker. What the hell? But uh, really, they're not going to be doing much to their cars. Car culture may just be a piece of slight conversation. Uh, they might bring it up, but they probably won't. Their, their knowledge is pretty limited. It's often derived from regurgitating things that they've heard from their friends or from mainstream media. Usually, they have no interest in pursuing car culture as a hobby. This is the basic enthusiast. Level two, the diehard. Brace yourself for an intense devotion to a single brand. This enthusiast sees their chosen brand as infallible, an angel brand almost. Dismissing any shortcomings with willful ignorance. Their wardrobe might be adorned with branded hats, branded pillows, they might have uh, branded keychain, they might have branded shoes. There's gonna be a lot of brand merchandise to display their loyalty to this brand. Their media consumption is pretty limited. They're gonna be consuming content that is giving them a confirmation bias towards their brand. They're gonna scoff at any rival brands. And should their favorite brand face any sort of defeat, there's going to be excuses that come up like, oh, they missed the shift or there wasn't enough traction. And there'll always be some sort of excuse if they're driving their car and someone beats them. Really, they're hardcore warriors to defend their brand. This is the Die Hard. Level three, the enthusiast of enthusiasts. This individual transcends brand loyalty and embraces a broad appreciation for all manufacturers. They possess a discerning eye and can objectively evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of different brands and models. They're not really biased towards one or the other, but they're using data and the experiences they've had in these different cars to really come to a conclusion. Now, if they have their own cars and they're gonna modify it, they usually modify it tastefully. They respect the essence of the car and really they're not gonna overdo it. Now, enthusiasts of enthusiasts are people like Doug DeMuro, Matt Farah, Tyler Hoover. These guys offer unbiased opinions and insights and can really give you a true analysis on these cars. They embrace facts and reasonable discussions they understand that each car has its purpose and cultural significance, and they ultimately just appreciate the diverse automotive landscape that we have in this world. This is the Enthusiast of Enthusiasts. Level four, the nerd. 
Prepare to enter the realm of meticulous knowledge and obsessive fascination. The nerd surpasses the enthusiast of enthusiasts armed with an encyclopedic understanding of every brand, model, and minute detail. They dedicate countless hours to consuming automotive media, leaving no stone unturned in their quest for information. The nerd can unravel the intricate tapestry of engineering decisions, historical anecdotes, and the significance of each part and component. They may encompass somewhat of the enthusiast of enthusiasts and the diehard. They may have a bias towards some brand, but they're pretty objective. They're pretty well versed in the cultural surrounding of the cars, whether it be JDM, German, or American. They can distinguish counterfeit parts. And usually if they don't work on their own car and they go take it to a shop to say get tires, they're not gonna take it to a big brand store. They're gonna take it to someone they trust and or they're gonna do it themselves. The nerd approaches car building with meticulous precision, recognizing that every car deserves a tailored approach. Now, they try to respect its unique aesthetic as much as it can. For example, the nerd might put only work or SSR or JDM wheels on a JDM car and or vice versa, they may only put German or European style wheels on a European car. They're very specific about how they modify their car. Their devotion to knowledge is unmatched. This is the nerd. Level five, the artist. Ascend to the zenth of automotive enthusiasm where mastery meets creativity. The artist combines the nerd's encyclopedic knowledge with visionary artistic flair. Their prowess lies not only in understanding cars, but in orchestrating a symphony of colors, shapes, and details. Like a painter blending colors and shaping mountains, the artist constructs cars that transcend conventional boundaries. Every decision from the wheels to the smallest of accents is thoughtfully crafted to evoke emotions and capture attention all while keeping the original essence of the car by complementing the car with their artistic decisions. They're never going to have too much of one thing or one color as this may disturb the balance of true creativity. Yet their creations boldly express individuality, but never succumb to the mere eccentricity for the sake of standing out, meaning they're never just being different just to be different. The artist sets aside their ego, letting the car become the canvas on which their profound understanding and expertise are created. These automotive artists have dedicated their lives perfecting the craft, starting from the earliest days of their childhood. These are people like Akira Nakai, founder of RWB, building Porsches like never seen before. His artistry has changed the modified world of Porsches with his unique one-off builds. Another good example is the Ring Brothers with their retro modded classics. Again, every piece and color is so thought out. No one decision overtakes another. Behold the unparalleled creativity of the artist. Now, as we conclude this exploration of the diverse levels of car enthusiasm, let's have some introspection. Which level resonates? with you the most. Are you the basic enthusiast, the die hard, the enthusiast of enthusiasts, the nerd, or the artist, or maybe somewhere in between? Regardless, embrace your passion, celebrate your uniqueness, and continue to explore the captivating world of car culture. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more captivating content about car enthusiasm. We value your thoughts and invite you to share which level you identify with the most. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.